you're gonna get your jump rope. So I explain what you do. We're gonna warm up the forehand first. Uh, after a few forehands, you're gonna use, let's say, 14 forehands, and then you're gonna do 50 jump ropes. Uh. We're gonna go four sets of that, okay? Okay. We try? Yeah. Go. So it's like, place your forehands cross court. Okay. Okay? Ready? Hop. Just warming up, okay? Nice and easy. Hop. A little bit slower the swing, slow. Slower the swing. Stay much slower with your legs. There you go, nice. Go. Very nice. Okay. It's still warming up. I want you to hit the ball around the service line. Okay? Let's go. Give me at least 10 in a row. Calm there. Very good. That's a lot better. Nice. Up. Very good. Up. Very good. Up. That was a lot better, the rotation. Okay. Ready, ready to start? So I give you, let's go 10 balls. And when you get your jump rope on the side, and start doing jump rope. Oh. Okay? So jump rope, both legs. 50. Ah. Okay, get your jump rope on the side. Now we're gonna start, okay? So you're gonna hit 10 forehands. The goal is for you to stay very low with your legs and be sharp with your left hand, ah. okay? I want your shots to have nice top spin. Play around the service line. After you okay. hit 10 balls, you're gonna come right away to jump rope. Ah. Do you understand? Yes. So we're gonna do four sets in the row ah. without a break. Okay, go. Hi. Just leave it there. Mario, sit there and watch, okay? Watch how Alex is playing. Jump, stay low. Hop. Very good. One. Hop. Two. Hop. Three. Hop. Very good. Four. Very good left arm. Hop. Nice. Hop. Very good. Hop. One more. Hop. Calm. Nice. Jump rope. Let's go. 50. The goal is to go fast the arms, okay? Okay. Wider stand. Wider. Good job. Quick, 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 quick. Very good. Keep going. You count, right? Yeah. Excellent. Just basic. So we do different variations on it. So first off, we start off with two feet. Then we're going to progress with a single leg. Right, single leg left. So we do different variations. The reason we do this kind of interval of training so we can try to condition when the legs are tired and also for the younger kids the shoulders will get tired. So I'm conditioning the wrist to move, the shoulder to move. So when the arms are tired, when they hit the ball, now they rely on the footwork and staying low. That's the main reason we do that. Let's go. Ten. Stay very low after the jump, okay? Stay low. Up. Very good. Nice. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Good balance. Very nice. Very nice. Go. Forward. Higher jump. Up. Very good. Nice. Go. Balance. Go. Nice. One more. Jump rope. Go. Wider stand, stay wider. So it's important to stay wide with your stand, wider with your stand. Excellent. 
get used to it. A little bit wider apart. Yep, very good. Nice, Alex. Keep your breathing. Good. Next. Let's go. Set number three. So we'll go four sets non stop, okay? Okay. That's a little bit cardio for you right now. Stay lower, stay lower, go. Stay low the whole time. Stay low, very good. Excellent. Go, stay low. Nice, go, go, go. Stay low, get used to it. Nice, go, close stand. Nice, go, up. If you do open stand with top spin, let's go, up. Nice, balance, go. Move the ball, move the ball. Stay low, go. Balance. Left arm higher. Go. Nice. Two more. Go back. Go. Excellent. Jump rope. This is the last set. Pick it up. Wider stand. Stay slightly wider. Good job. Very good. We're doing wider because on a split step we have to condition the stand to be wider. Also, we want the hips to get a little bit stronger. Get quick water, Alex. Quick water. Very good. So, in general, we want to get a little bit more cardio and aerobic. So I try to combine both in one, so that when they hit the ball and they get tired, I'm looking for more precision of the placement, because usually when they get tired, it gets sloppy, they slap the ball, they don't hit like you know, appropriately the ball. So I'm trying, 10 balls is a good number. So Anything between 15 to 20 is a good spare. number as well. But for this age, we want quality versus quantity. So 10 balls is a good number for them to keep going in a row. And everything is calculated by numbers. So 50 jump ropes without a miss, it's very good standard. You could try if they're missing, it's okay, it's a work in progress. So now I'm gonna ask him to do more complex movement with the ball and also a single leg. Let's see how he's gonna react. Okay. Next variation is gonna do all forehands. Uh. Cross core forehand, inside in forehand. Uh. After you finish the 10 balls, you do jump rope 30. Okay. Single leg, just the right foot. Uh. Okay? Okay. Let's go four sets like that. Give me the balls next to you quickly. Give me the balls. But how low you stay. Uh. Stay low, okay? You might do a certain mistakes when you move from the use to the add. I'm not gonna explain you right away. I want to see how you do it, okay? Understand? Okay. Ready? Stay low. The, the goal is to stay low. Cross core. Move. Very good. Two. Very good. Go. Up, up, up. Very nice. Very impressive. Go. Very impressive. Nice. Yes. Let's go. Very nice. Go. Move in. Two more, Alex. Relax your upper body. Get back. Turn quick. Turn. Jump rope, go, jump rope, right away. Right leg. Very good. No, 30. We'll do 30 on that, okay? 30. Very good. Let's go again. You did very, very good moving from the deuce to the add that you didn't turn this way and then you turn to the opposite. 
you did right away hitting and immediately turning facing to the right side yes that's a very good way to move only the last ball when you get a little bit tired you hit you turn and you turn the other way that slows you down a little bit uh. we want he doesn't matter close or open stand make sure you right away turn with your racket back okay understood yes all right stay lower stay lower lower that's the key stay low go 10 nice low very good yes go stay low stay low very good be sharp let's go I like that go exhale nice a little bit under the ball under nice you can try better go under go it's okay nice go stay low two more two more under the ball nice go go nice let's go 30 in this specific routine I don't mind if they miss to the net or out the goal is to see if they can sustain mentally to do the exercise ideally we want to play the low top spin over the net and the ball with barely past the service line we want to move the ball around the court we don't want to get too flat the ball we condition the leg to stay under and drop slightly the racket let's go again move the balls on your left your set number three okay Kay. yes yes let's go give me those balls go give me the balls go see if you can get under the ball more okay just slightly under with your racket stay back a little bit ready stay low go low very good go turn more spacing very good go 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 turn very nice under the ball keep moving you stop too soon keep moving nice let's go nice more spacing with that forehand go give me space go give me two more two more go stop spin top spin very good go turn nice go that was a better rotation the other big part from this exercise is the breathing because as the set progresses now third and fourth set they get tense and they're holding the breath so you want to get more elasticity a little bit more fluidity on it keep your breathing keep your breathing very good excellent let's go ready down 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 go stay down one go shape nice stay low stay low much lower lower your legs lower your legs nice go lower the legs low nice under under go yes go stay low stay low bravo go stay low moving 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 two more go two more under left arm go left arm i like that it's okay be aggressive jump rope jump rope last rotation that was a better rotation there the good standard is to make five sets of 20 that's 100 balls there and five sets of 50 jump ropes that's 250 so if I do all the variations I would like this is like a second variation then ideally going to 500 jump ropes or 1000 jump ropes because every rotation is, it takes time to do it but we're building on that Alex get water get a drink so by doing the jump rope especially on the clay it helps to strengthen the ankles the calves and also be more elastic uh, on the other part is uh, when they come to do the 
side to side, the movement. Now he's staying wide. What to apply on the jump rope with both feet, wide stand, he's trying to apply it by like staying wide with his stand. So everything has purpose on it. Alex, let's get some balls and do the other variation. Okay, so Alex, we did two variations. Yes. Did you find it easy or difficult? Um, I found it medium. Medium. Which part was challenging for you? Um, probably the jump roping. Okay, what's the reason? Um, because you have to do um, a lot and you can't go too slow like this. So you're looking for speed. Do you feel yes. your legs tired or your arms tired? Legs. Your legs? Okay. So some other uh, variation can be, you can use a little bit more your wrist circular motion. Yeah. It can be like bigger circles with your shoulders. Yes. Okay. Which is very good. When you feel your legs tired and you're going to hit the ball, do you feel awkward when no. you move? No, right? So that means you're like adjusting quicker from the jump rope to the hidden strike balls. Okay. Next variation. I want you to play just forehand, but you play down the line every shot. Right. So down the line, inside in. Okay. And you do the left leg. Jump rope in left leg, 30. Right. Okay? Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Ideally, I won't close stand in that situation. Okay? I don't try to move you. The biggest task for this exercise in general is the kids to stay low. So if I'm standing here, Alex, if I'm staying here, I'm doing up, turn, boom, down the line, turn right away, boom, here, up, turn, cut, a little bit here, move around right away, boom, and then go back high jump here. From the deuce to that, right away move. When you go back, here, hop. Good split step. Okay. Nice oh, thank you. But you have to stay low. Okay? Uh. The whole time. I know. Down the line. Ready? Hop. Go, turn. Go, turn. Very good. Go, turn, turn. Go, under the ball, under. Go, up. Go, very good, go. Nice, go, up, 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 up. Turn better, go, up, two more. Turn, go, 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 left arm, left arm. Jump rope, go, jump, jump. See the last two, three balls, he didn't move correctly to the other side. I'm okay with that because right now I'm working the brain. How he can move consistently right to left with, without like stopping and going up. I want to stay low. He will feel the legs. The left arm is not very sharp all the time. He's moving this way and then he's turning. He's turning right away, moving to the right side. So. Right now is introduction. We're introducing this type of movement. We're introducing this type of pattern of playing. Third or fourth time doing the same exercise is better and better. More precision in the shots, where it's going. Better efficient movement with the steps. Round two. Ah. Stay low. When you go from the deuce to the add, always this way. Understand? Yes. Show me. Exactly, exactly, all the time. The left arm sharp, straight. Stay down, 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 down. Go, down, in shape. You put spin to the ball, top spin. Very good, go, top spin. Very good, moving, moving, moving. Yes.
stay low, Alex, stay low. Come on, calm, calm. Very good, stay lower, stay low. Very nice, go, stay low, up, up, up. Spacing, go, spacing. Come on, go back, go, go, go. Two more, go, spacing. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Jump rope, go, go. Alex, give me the balls from here. Be mindful how flat you hit the ball. I want this action of the ball, not a straight action, okay? Okay. Low rainbow, high rainbow. I want the low rainbow. Ah. Uh. Understood? Yes. Okay. Stay low. One. Go. Two. Go. Three. Very nice. Go. Moving. Sharp the left arm. Very good. Moving. Go. Go. Nice. Go. Under. Go. Stay lower. Lower. Stay lower. Lower. Good. Jump rope. That was a little better. Maybe one or two out of ten. He started not going up at the end. It's very physical and you have to be very concentrated as a player to do it all the time. Unless it becomes second nature for the kids to do it all the time, you have to keep reminding them. You have to keep telling them, stay low, put a top spin. When they get tired, they start slapping the ball and play flatter. Go, one more set. It's the last one. Let's see if you can make 10 balls in a row over the net. Yeah. Around the service line. Yeah. And then 30 in a row jump ropes. So, no mistakes. Uh. Can we take the challenge? Yes. Okay, ready? Yes. Stay very low the whole time. Stay very low. I want you to feel your legs, the quads burning a little bit. Okay? Stay low. Go low. Up. Go. Up. Moving. Be disciplined. Yeah? Yeah. Go. Ten in a row. Stay low. Go. Go. Nice. Go. Left arm. Four. Out. Yeah? It was out? I didn't see. Oh, it was out. You I want you to understand, the ball lifts the strings, you should understand if it's in or out, if you don't want to watch the ball. You should be able to watch the ball. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Stay low. One. Two. Again. Clear the ball, clear the ball. So the last set now, I challenge you, I change the format. I want consistency and in the row shots. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Stay low, stay low, go. One. Two. Three. Under, stay low. Out. Up, up, down. Out. Are you tired? Yeah. Okay. Especially when you're tired, you have to concentrate so much on the contact point. Okay? Okay. Understand how the racket works. Ready? Stay low. Go. One. Stay lower. Two. Go. Three. Go. Four. Five. Turn, six, go, seven, quick, eight, go, nine, stay low, stay low, stay low, that's ten, jump rope, go, 
quick, quick. Let's go. Thirteen in a row. Time. That was thirty. Yes. So on the last variation I challenged him. I didn't warn him. But I asked for consistency and I asked for like, you know, jump rope be efficient. Do I keep the jump rope out? Keep it out, yes. So that now on the last set, the fourth set, is equivalent playing the last game. The last game of the second set or third set. So you want to be efficient and consistent. Ten balls is a good rally ball. Okay, but efficient, clean contact point. When you feel tired, think clearly what you're doing. So you can challenge the opponent. You can challenge any kid you have. He wants to be powerful, challenge how consistent they are. They want to be more tight and push the ball, see how strong they can hit the ball and a little more, more pace and more shape to the ball. But you have to be creative and you have to push the boundaries a little bit. Uh, with the jump rope, if they're not good enough, they have to keep practicing. It's very, very helpful and useful, the jump rope, to do it with a good speed and a good rhythm. Because if they have a good rhythm with a jump rope, most likely have a good rhythm when they move on the court with like more fluid steps. All right, let's get uh, 25 balls from here and do the next variation. Yes. So he was relaxing confidently in the beginning of the match, yeah. the same way, and then at the end, he starts to rush in those spots, like, don't, don't, go, uh, don't go down the line, yeah. they all go across, yes. especially when he's over there, and he goes out, like, way back. Mm -hmm. Because he's leaning back, he doesn't, like, he stays straight. So he over and told to over. He can slow down. Yes. So that's why like, when he feels tired, the legs feel tired, for him, he feels he's strong enough right now to the jump rope. The jump rope doesn't affect him. I have other variations, get a heavier jump rope. When the jump rope is heavier, he feels heavy the arms, he cannot whack the ball. He has to slow down. So maybe I have to, I can increase the volume of the ball. From 10, I go to 14, I go to 20. But right now is just introduction. I want to see if he can sustain. We did just four sets in order to cover like more repetitions of all the surfaces. Uh, hopefully, we can target like two areas and try to do it like for like an hour. To do it properly it takes an hour and a half. Like a little over an hour and a half to do properly. Yeah. Well, he's too excited. He, he has a lot of energy, but he cannot control himself. He, the excitement overtakes him. He has to, like, you know, the breathing, the staying low, more efficient. Okay, next variation. We just did down the line, right? Yes. Every ball is cross court now. Uh. So, cross court forehand, inside out forehand. Uh. I don't care how hard you hit the ball. I care how well you open the court. Does it make sense? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. This time you do 50 jump ropes, but both legs wide enough. This, not this. Okay? Okay. From the beginning. Uh, okay? Okay. Let's go. Give me the balls here. Give me those two balls. Very good. I want to see the placement of the ball. I, the ball should not come in this area. I want to be around here. Ideally, I want to have targets, but right now I give you the, the freedom to go like anywhere here. Ideally, aim in this area. 
cross court here, inside out on the other side. The objective is to open the court, not to be powerful. Okay? So consistency. Consistency. Do you, Alex, do you understand? Yes. So, in terms of just pure hitting, consistency. In terms of movement, staying low and being sharp with your left arm all the time. Okay? Okay. Ready? Stay low. Stay low. Go. Cross. Go. Open. Inside out. More cross core. Go. Yes. Go cross core. Cross core. Nice. Stay lower. Stay lower. Very nice. Go. You're trying. Go. Stay low. Nice. That's number five here. Go for six. Turn. Go. Keep moving. Nice. It's number eight. Turn. Stay low. Show me how low you stay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Jump row. Both legs. Go. Let's see. White stand. Yes. Keep going. It's okay. Fantastic. Better rhythm, better rhythm. Good job. Excellent. Let's go. Round two. Do a better job to get under the ball with your racket a little bit. Okay? Stay low. Stay low. Right here. Under. Nice. Go. Open the court. Go. Two. Three, go, open, very nice, go, get around the ball, yes, number six, moving, go, number seven, let's go, up, 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 go, up, 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 under, let's go, up, 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 moving, next, go, go. So now, when I, hit, I see many kids hitting the ball too flat from those areas, I know they try to get like, you know, a way to build the point. Because ideally, you want to control the middle court and like, you know, right or left slightly, middle cross court, middle to the outside the ball. If you try to muscle the ball, you cannot have like a volley. So I, Pretty much I move forward, plant the seeds, middle court shots coming forward for put aways. Because a lot of time they're doing a very good job, the kids from the baseline, when they come around the service line, they have no feel how to open the court. They try to muscle it to go through the opponent. So Alex, you have to get a little more shape to your shots a little bit. You cannot just play flat and drive the ball. I want to play under the ball more. Okay. Try to go a little shorter, yes. Do you understand? Yeah. Give me the ball next to you. We're set number three. Let's go. Do you see those balls here? Yeah. I want you to aim here. Okay. The cross court, okay? The inside out is over there. Do you see your target? Get a little more under the, the ball, okay? Don't slide it to get uh, the angle, okay? Okay. Ready? Stay low, stay low. Go, stay low. Very good. That's the ball you want. Under. Go again. Yes, keep the triangle. Keep the triangle up. Go. That's four. Very good. Go. Bring it down, down. Yes. Go. Quicker the one. Quicker the one. Go. 
Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, go, keep moving. Go. Two more. Nice. Under. Very good. Go, jump rope. That was a lot better. For this age, this kind of pace is okay. For like a nine, ten year old, it's okay. Then you can increase a little bit the speed of their acceleration. But they have to understand how to compose their body position and the recovery after hitting the shots. Do you do crossover step to go back to the shot? Or do I do cross under right away? So these are the steps that the kid has to feel comfortable. Because many times they shuffle and then they turn. This is slowing them down. We try to get them more efficient with the hip rotation. One more set, okay? Hip a little bit, one faster, one faster, one faster, okay? Okay. Go, up. Very good, up. Very good. You're doing fine, keep going. Under, stay lower, stay lower, front leg, up, nice, that's four, go, very good, go, moving, moving, very nice, go, stay lower, bend your right knee, bend your right knee, very good, go, up, 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 nice, keep moving, two more, go, steady, nice, go, up, 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 very nice. Jump rope, go. So close, now it's better. So in this round, he was trying to be a little more conservative, but it was very precise. So what happened is he's making the opponent to move. So it's up to him now to finish the fourth, fifth ball hard or to make him move to get him tired. So to whack the ball is the easiest way. To move the ball and be patient, is more mindful because he's a cat and mouse. Some is moving very well, they play loopy ball, but it's short, go to the other corner. So you have to be tactically efficient and sharp. Alex, get water. That was very good. Do I put it away? Um, it, it actually doesn't, yeah, he doesn't go that much out when he has uh, the, the target. What do you mean? I mean, it helps him. Remember what we were talking about? Yeah. He hits, overhits it in excitement. Yes. Excitement is too much and he hits it hard. It's too straight. Yeah. He's trying to go yeah. through the opponent. And right now he figured that he Yes. Like so that helps. We try to hit the outside part of the ball for the cross court, for the inside out, the inside part of the ball in some way. Okay. Let's get some balls and do another variation. Yeah, it's coming. So, because your racket is open, make sure it's not completely open here. Uh -huh. So watch, watch. Here, come. Okay. That's better. And follow the ball forward. Very good. Excellent. Go. Hold on, I go together. And I get up, I get in front. Stop. Many times, kids stop in here. When they stop, it slows them down. So I prefer to go a little bit quicker this motion here. The more the delay here, the more they can open. The more open, so what happens, it's the slide the ball, they don't get over. So Alex, when you get back, Quick, up, okay? Okay. Ready, right, left arm, down, up, okay? Where would be adjustment if it tosses too high? No. When it's too high, you stop here. You stop here. You stop, so therefore, like now, you're collapsing. So it cannot be too high, neither too low. It has to be a little bit right balance on it. Now, keep going forward on it, okay? Okay.
Now, very good. Go. Now, again. You can go a little bit higher. Bravo, Alex. Go again. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Finish with that. See the, the rhythm? It's like continuation movement. But he went after it. Because I prefer to be urgent to hit the ball that when I'm nervous, I don't want to hit, so I'm going slow. So now he has to go to get the ball. If the ball keeps going to the net, then he has to adjust the left arm a little higher. Go two more. Let's see. Go. Go up a little more with your racket without stopping. Again, look up, you're moving down too soon. You're moving down because the left arm goes down. That was great. The left arm stays longer, longer until you swing up. Yes. If you're collapsing now, you're going down too soon. Yes. Okay, let's get some balls. Very good, Alex. So today we focus mostly on the recovery, staying low and also doing intervals with a jump rope. We do several variations just with the forehand. You can apply exactly the same just with the backhand. It's three, four different variations with the pattern. Strongly recommend you to try it.